Hi guys, Holly Hobby coming to you today. I have got this really beautiful succulent and I had one in my office that died last year and I want to transplant this new guy into this old pot. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Okay, so simply put, the tools you're going to need are some sort of device to scoop things out. A tray to keep the dirt and things inside your pot and some good soil. Uh, and obviously water as well, because we have a water can. So succulents are very hardy plants, but they're still delicate. So you always want to make sure that you take your plant and put it into a bigger container than what you purchased it in. So whether it's going in the ground or it's going in another pot, the container needs to be bigger. This guy is going to have a lot of opportunity to grow and it doesn't take much water for succulents. A little bit of water once a week, even once every two weeks is more than enough. But if you start to see some of the leaves starting to come off, you're going to want to address it. You're either giving it too much water or too little water or too little light. I want to keep these little beautiful rocks because that will help contain the moisture in this dirt. So I'm just going to scoop out enough. This is pretty, pretty dry from before. You're basically going to make a well that is going to be deep enough for the spacing of this container to fit completely solid inside. And then you'll take the rest of the dirt and put it on top. Now I want to make sure that the roots get as much moisture as possible. So I'm actually going to add some water before we add the succulent, let that just seep in. To get the succulent out, obviously we want to be delicate, but there's lots of rocks in there, right? So you could take scissors to the side or you could squeeze it just a little bit. Same thing applies for other plants and work its way out. You want to make sure to keep the roots intact. And if you save the container, then you can use it for something else in the future. Notice this little guy's pretty dry. There we go. Some of the items I'm removing are actually its nutrients. So I wanna make sure we have as much of that as possible in there with a nice mix of the existing dirt. I'm just breaking that apart. Again, adding more water. We want it to already receive some moisture when we establish it in its new home. That's pretty good. Okay, so you don't want to force a plant in. Don't shove it down. Just gently work its way in and make sure it's sitting in the position that you want. And then you're going to add its dirt such a tiny little guy, but it will grow up into something really beautiful, which is really nice for the desk. Just a nice little bit of plant life right for the desk, especially nice if you have a little apartment or window, a single room, nice little decor. Now I will, um, don't wanna add too much moisture to it, but I will be pouring water on top here so that way it can try to clear out some of the dirt but gently pat it in again you don't want to force anything because it is a delicate plant plants can tend to experience some shock when they've been moved out of one container to another so just keep that in mind if you see anything worrisome call your local garden nursery Ask them for some help, suggestions. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna have plenty of room to grow now. I'm gonna add a little smooch onto the top. It's gonna seek in. That's more than enough water for the next two weeks. And that's that, my friends. Little succulent is all planted and ready to be a part of my home. 